running a little late here. Um, so the first thing is we all have our minutes in front of us from January 6th, February 10th, and February 24th. This is our, we didn't have a quorum last meeting, so we're going to do... So if I... Uh, Did I give you January 6th? Yeah, no, I didn't get you January 6th. I didn't know. I got January 6th. Oh, okay. Somebody must be having an extra then. Mm -hmm. Which you watch, Paige. Oh, no, it's only one page? Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> it's been a slow day, Brian. Oh, I see. <laughs> We're stuck together. If I can have a motion on the minutes from January 6th, February 10th, and February 24th. Make, make a motion we accept the minutes from January 6th, February 10th. February 24th is written. Do I have a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Abstain? All right. And what we can do, Rick, if you want, we can write you as abstaining since you went out the meetings and yeah. um, if you have, if you lose that right after tonight, now you're liable. <laughs> <laughs> So, as everybody know, Rick Lynchum, our new member of the uh, Finance Committee, so we want to welcome him. The, um, we finally have, and I do want to thank Heather and Faye, Jean, Nancy, and Heather and Heather and Heather, because um, we were able to finally get this information we sent out to everybody um, up to date. This is the new, as close as I can, our new budget spreadsheet with um, all the updated numbers in it. And the other thing we sent out to you too was uh, the receipts. This year right now we don't really have many, we're kind of level funding receipts until we get closer to town meeting. Um, so there's our receipts. We sent out an updated debt schedule. Thank you for helping put that together. Um, Nancy and Jean um, with our debt. We have a five-year tax forecast spreadsheet that you can play with and add in different variables and scenarios um, on here. And then uh, this is some of the other data about our levy limit and residential tax rates and stuff. So we've added a couple of things to your information that we sent out. What we thought we'd do right now is kind of run through before we have the three boards come up. If that's okay, we'll kind of update everybody on the budget since it's the first time we've done this uh, in a while. The is that me or is that? Can you make it a little clearer? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Everybody else is seen a blurry. Okay. Can you adjust it a little I thought I was dying on you guys or something. Yeah. Oh, oh. We'll do the one, two, two, three. I knew I was missing something. We'll make it bigger. You're on two. Second sheet. Um. Let me see if I can do this too. That's good. How's that? Okay, yeah, we all can see it now. Science is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> what is bad news, we blurry it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, real small. All right, so here's where we're at right now. I'm going to run through it. I'm going to stumble through these two debt exclusion explanations. I'm going to ask Gene and, and Heather to help me out, <coughs> but um, we'll kind of run through this real quick. So what we have is town meeting vote and then the actual budgets from, from this fiscal year and then what's requested so far. So this is going to be our beginning levy limit, which we take from the ending here and move over every year. We add in 2.5% and then our new growth estimate. Last year, we estimated at town meeting that we'd have 100,000 in new growth. It actually came in at 111, almost 112. But we're going to go back to the 111 estimate, which always seems to be a good number every year for us to kind of use um, as a starting point. So it gives us our uh, end of period levy limit, and then we always add in our debt exclusions. I'm going to gloss over this in one second and then come back to it because it's going to take a couple minutes to explain. So the, ruggle, the debt exclusion on the school is now done. It was our last year. Um, so that's done. We have our sewer, the Ruggles Lane roof, and the common project. And that gives us our maximum allowable levy limit of 7070000 We scroll down 
This is where we do our the cherry sheet numbers and our local receipts, which we've level funded. We minus our exemptions, and that gives us our total revenue of nine million one hundred thousand. So now we add in this right here is we don't have an exact number from the school. So what this is is the level funded school budget plus a one and a quarter percent increase. So it's kind of a, an increase of one and a quarter percent that gives us that number. This is for planning purposes. Um, then we add in the projects, the roof debt, the support center debt, which if you notice is going to be paid off next year. We have one more year um, for that. <clears throat> Monty Tech, we haven't really heard from yet. They usually, I think last year went up 18,000, Heather? Somewhere in there. So we level funded them, and that gives us our totals for our schools. These are all the numbers for the boards that have been in front of us, the town accountant, the ambulance, um, board of health, all these boards, the debt. We added in, as of yesterday when we were chatting, um, Snow and ice removal is about 95,000 right now, which for the winter we've had, that's not too bad. Um, we add in, so that gives us a total budget of 10,961,624. Um, sewer and water are enterprise funds, so their, um, their revenue gets added back in. These numbers here, are $7,500 higher than their budgeted numbers because we charge them each for municipal services for the town accountant, town treasurer, those type of things. So they pay $7,500 each extra for those. Um, this is what we anticipate in ambulance receipts right now. Um, we're hoping that that number gets better as we go forward as they change uh, companies and, and the receipts get better. Um, water debt, the sewer debt, the um, the money that's going into the uh, reserve fund, which we'll explain in a minute for those two projects. And this gives us where we're at right now. We're 142,000 um, in the hole um, with the budgets that came in and, and the numbers we have in front of us. Any questions so far before we go back? Do you want copies of this that didn't print it? No? Hmm? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, going back up here to the um, the debt exclusion for the Ruggles Lane roof and the common project. Um, basically what, what happened, I guess the best way to explain it was it's a timing issue. We had anticipated uh, permanent bonding being done this fiscal year for these two projects because of the, and so what we had done was we went to town meeting and said, okay, we're gonna do them. We put them on the tax bills, we debt excluded them. Uh, the money came in, or is coming in for this year, and then uh, we didn't permanently bond them yet because of the timing. So what happens is, this is the first time we've ever had this happen, right? So this is why, so what's happened right now is, and Gene, correct me if I'm explaining this wrong. So the money came in this year. We're anticipating the bonding being done at a certain point coming up. So Ruggles is bonded. So Ruggles is bonded. Yeah. So, is very common. So, the, so the Ruggles project, because it was bonded later than we anticipated, we had overtaxed people by $864, basically, because there was a lapse. So we, that $864, so because we're not paying it till next year, we had collected the money already, we have to minus that from our levy limit for next fiscal year. The money's there already, so we're going to be able to pay the bill, because we've already collected it this year. But we can't double tax them next year for that money. Basically, it's kind of... <coughs> so what we're doing is we're taking the money we collected this year for those bonds mm -hmm. and we're going to reserve it and start it down as a fund balance reserve for the debt exclusion mm -hmm. for that project. And we're going to take that money and we're going to apply it so that we have the money for those bond payments. So the same thing goes for the common project. They're only anticipating, because it's going to be bonded later, We've overtaxed by 42,000, basically. We don't need the whole 115, so that has to now come off. This is gonna have a couple effects. This compounded with um, the fact that we used um, some uh, free cash last year because of the, the um, estimate that we had coming in. If you remember that um, scenario, the tax rate last year was artificially low. So 
what, what's happened now is this year taxes went up because we had these two projects go on. Well, we weren't ready for them yet. So next year, the taxes are going to go like this again. They should on paper. And then they're going to level off. So, so the next two years, if I am reading all this correctly, we're going to have a little bit of a roller coaster tax rate. Correct? Yeah. I will do that in a second. But let's just make sure everybody understands this. So that's why there's now going to be negative here because it was, a time, it was just a pure timing issue. We didn't have the permanent bonding done. Understand? Mm -hmm. okay. This is kind of why we didn't bring this out for a month. <laughs> We're all trying to figure it out. Um, uh, Gene and Nancy and Heather and them have been great. I, they've You've been talking to the state, the OR, to make sure that we've done this, all this properly so that we're, we're, that's why there was a delay in getting all this information. We wanted to make sure we were, could explain it, we were ready to show it to, to everybody and that's why we didn't have it the past couple meetings. So now we've attached the five-year tax forecast for you. Um, So this will be, now Heather, this is the way we have it right now is if nothing changes, correct? Right. So this is this year. Right. And then this will be next year. So the tax rate okay. should go down 33 cents per thousand. And then the following year, it would actually then go up 0.84, mm -hmm. 84 cents per thousand. So the whole debt exclusion thing. but. There's other factors that can start playing into this too as we pay off debt that's been debt excluded, all that will get added on um, to here also. So, and there's different factors and this is kind of a neat and thank you guys for putting this together because it's kind of a neat spreadsheet to play with. You can change different factors in here. You can add in if the total assessed value went up, what would your tax rate be? If, um, you know, new growth, levy limit. If we didn't do the two and a half percent every year, we did, um, you know, let's say we did 98% or 90% of the 2.5%, you could you could play with that tax rate going forward. Um, and the valuations affect everything as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was, we're just, we used a baseline of existing valuations, but as you know, the assessor has said, the valuations have been there, so that number is probably going to change. So that affects mm -hmm. as well. Like, yeah, if our valuations here went up to four hundred thousand, that that you know four hundred million, that affects the tax rate and all those other things get factored into here. So, um, any questions so far? David, you said earlier that uh, that one school project there was paid off this year. So where do those numbers fit in? So, so what will happen is this this. Oops, the Ed Support Center is paid off. This isn't debt excluded. This is part of their assessment to us. That's not the one I'm talking about. When the pub the back up and said, uh, I don't know if you said done. Where it says done. Done. Yeah. The debt exclusion school is this is this year, the year we're in right now. So next year we don't have to account for that. Okay. So, and that was debt excluded. So that will actually factor in next year too. Um, and then as some of these other projects, that's going to lower the amount we need next year. Yeah, that's what I want. The reason's coming up. The uh, there's a couple. The 17th, I think. The 19th. 2017, I think that was done. The uh, yeah. the sewer treatment facility is 19. Yeah. Um, that one we do have one coming up. Yeah. Oh, Water Route Road, here it is, right here. The $50,000 one. Yeah, that the comes off. The last payment's the 17th. Fiscal 17th. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this, this because water is an enterprise fund now, will affect their budget, not so much ours, other than, hopefully gives them more money to do things with. What's, so. what's the money tech? Uh, Which one? Oh, right here. So, um, our Monty Tech is the uh, technical high school that we're, we're members of. So, this is their budget that they submit to us for the students that go there. Okay. 
So the, the, out of all the schools, the, they're actually pretty good with keeping their increases down. There was a couple years they actually decreased their budget. Um, unfortunately with them, we don't know until usually right at the last minute or sometimes at the start of the year if, if students are going to go there. But, you know, they're pretty good at communicating with us and um, providing us information. Uh, Norfolk Ag, I'm leaving it on because I'm very superstitious. I really do think that the day we delete it from our budget will be the day kids, kids show up. <laughs> so, and we haven't heard from Monty Tech, so I don't know if we have any, any students going there. Um, Norfolk Ag was, we had an issue, um, Rick, a couple years ago where we had a student want to go to Norfolk Ag School and we had to pay the full boat tuition, transportation. She went two years and decided that it wasn't for her and is, uh, pursued other avenues. Um, but we were still stuck paying the, the bill for it. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, this number here, I think, you know, it's April. We don't panic yet. There's other, you know, as things we get closer to seeing what the House and Senate does for local aid. Um, the other thing we don't have in here right now is uh, any uh, transfer station uh, receipts. There may be something left. There may not be, depending on, um, we may have to, depending on how this plays out, we may have to have a, um, not a slush fund, but we may have to have a contingency fund put together for when we do go to the new system for the transfer station. Uh, we don't know how much yet or how we're going to do it, but we do have some money in the uh, stabilization account for the landfill we could always use too to create that um, account. It would be an account for, if, you know, we would be liable if, there was a spill or something like that down there, so we need to have some money set aside. That's how they explained it to us, right? Yeah, so we don't know how much, or it could be 10000 it could be five, it could be something. But um, then we don't have an accounting yet on the transfer station receipts, so, you know, we still have that. We may have some money there. Um, ambulance receipts, we're hoping we'll tweak when they get their new billing company in and that, see how that plays out. And Nancy and Gina promised us they're going to find us a hundred thousand in, in receipts. So. <laughs> yeah. So that's where we're at. Any questions before we move on? We're going to have uh, who wants to go first? Nancy, Jean. I think Jean. Uh, we'll have Jean come up first and go over her budget, and uh, we can talk about some of the receipts and stuff. So I think we we sent them out to everybody too. So. <laughs> I, um, mm -hmm. you know, I do, you know, I, I don't see everything she does on a daily basis, but Jean has been absolutely wonderful. We two years now with us, and um, our free cash hasn't been certified yet, as everybody knows, but uh, Jean and the folks here have actually been working on a huge project where they've been taking all the receipts and entering them into a new system and doing a ton of work, and, um, She's really been doing a great job, and I want to thank you for all that too. And, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, how do, do you want to explain what you're doing with the new system? I mean, they. Well, pretty much, pretty much Nancy. Uh -huh. uh, putting in all the revenue from the fiscal 14, getting off the stock right, which is the common software that I use, uh -huh. so that we can synchronize it better. Low redundancy was then eliminated. Nice. There were too many steps. Uh -huh. So yeah, so streamlining. Good. Yeah, and mm -hmm. we're going to perfect our balancing so that it's it's more streamlined, less data entry, less mm -hmm. chance for error. Nice. Um, so we're setting that up. It's really a big undertaking because I don't know anything about stuff, right? So uh -huh. I learn it on the fly uh -huh. <laughs> as I go. But yeah. yeah. The team's awesome. It's great to work with. We appreciate everything that both your offices are doing. So, well, we have your budget in front of us. So, I don't know if there's anything you wanted to go over um, with us, anything we need to know about, any expenses coming up, or office expenses, or things you're going to need. Or so, you have three lines, so there's not a lot to like <laughs> hide in here. <laughs> so. Um, Anybody have any questions for Jean? She really did. They both, her and Nancy and, and Heather, them did a great job of helping us get all these numbers together. And mm -hmm. um, I want to thank them again. Yeah, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
on this paper. So I get three of them, I can't. All right. No questions? There should be a date on these papers. Yeah, the date. Um, if he gets a second one or revise one, it should have a newer right. date. Okay. I got a pile of them. Can't tell what the hell's what. <laughs> what? It should have a date. It should have a revision. And the, it should be FY15 final? Yeah, FY16. Yeah, yeah, so, Gene, just so you know, you've been through this before. I thought, so if you have any issues, we'll call you. <laughs> Typically, you know, you're one of the budgets that's hard to go back and cut into, so it's not a lot of. Uh, um, now, Dave, so. I don't know if you went over stuff because I cut uh -huh. out. But the difference in the salary, mm -hmm. is that a contracted or a reason why it goes up? Or She's it around it's an increase in her hours, I believe. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm yeah. wondering. You yeah. know, why? I'm looking at 30,000. It says it right here. Increase hours. Right. I must have printed it wrong. Okay, so she's going to be working 25. Yeah. Yeah, that's the wrong one. It's level funding. Yeah, it's level funding. I have the wrong one. We're going to. Sorry. It's level funding. So I must have printed her 15, not the 16 budget. So this is the wrong one. Yeah. What the? Oh. I had a small one. This is the wrong one? Yeah. When he turns the camera off, yeah. is when we take care of Faye. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, I got it here. You got it. You got it. So this is no more. Yeah, okay. That's no more. So that was the 14. That one is just. The one you emailed me. Yeah. Here, here's the one. Yeah. Well, the if you right want to one. pass it around. Yeah, I printed the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah, I can copy this one right now. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the right one. Now. Shred it. Wait a minute. It's the same bottom line as the 63.5. So, um, oh, and to um, Rick, like I did for Kathy, I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. I actually have multiple years here. I'll photocopy this book for you so you, you get it, start fresh everybody else. So we're all at. Treasures are all. Nancy, you want to? The uh, yeah, treasurer's right. dates are all the wrong dates too. Long. <laughs> I have uh, I have Nancy's right here. You got a date on it. You got a date on it. I brought a copy of mine. Is it like this one? Yeah. yeah. Just to make sure you have the same yeah. one I have right yeah, here, right? You know, what I'm saying is that's that's why it's nice to have a date because Wait, which one do you have? This is the they one got I the have. Wrong one. We got the old one. They got the last one. 1450. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to just go make copies? I have mine. No, we'll never do. I got it right here. So. Okay. All right. Yeah, they hit email. You want to do phase over? I mean, uh, Nancy's over too. <laughs> I hear <laughs> oh, shade and berry. This is this year's. just the one. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I, really, I really got a feeling that the paperwork with these gals is on target. You know, yeah. these gals are on target. Finally, things are. 
Right, you know something that you keep track of this shit and care about the way it right and the whole thing, you know. It's not We want to see ambulance receipts. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Isn't that something? You're welcome. Don't they have to have their email accounts? In the town of Barry? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, the Secretary of State didn't have to do that. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't, I can't I can't imagine this because I didn't print oh, my own. I, I can't imagine. I'm giving up this. Take one package. There's, a, there's multiple, so take this as yours. Okay. And then pass that down. There's all these things. Four sheets. Oh, I see. And it's going to be. There's all these things. It's paid by the copy. There's nothing. <laughs> I have it all in front of me at the computer. Yeah, I didn't pick my own for my own book, so I just did it quickly for it. I took all the old All right, now we have Nancy's in front of us. So. Mm -hmm. so. We'll start off with your the treasurer budget, yep. Nancy. Yep. So. What do you call? What do you take it for? My big increase is the billing. The billing? Yeah, they, they mandated an uh -huh. increase in the little penny bill. Okay, so I'm And there's no, uh, I mean, your budget is pretty much Other than that, the same. Like, yeah. Are there is anything coming up we need to be aware of that you're looking for? Yeah. Well, big through. office furniture? Or? Well, we've got the money for the chairs. So uh -huh. That was my big thing. Okay. I mean, it would always be nice to have a desk with drawers that open, but then, uh -huh. you know, you can't it's overrated. Yeah. It's overrated. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's overrated. <laughs> then you have to put something in them if they open. Yeah. <laughs> if they open, I'd have to put stuff in them. Yeah, yeah. right. Then you have to do it orderly. It's just uh -huh. stuff. Yeah. It's stuff in everything. But I haven't put any, I know that, you know, I haven't put anything in there. The only other thing is, and, and as you can see, um, I took the twelve hundred off, uh -huh. and everything else is level funded. Okay. Um, the loans are all spelled out there. Like I said, we have one coming, ending the seventeenth, eighteenth, and the nineteenth, two thousand eight, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. And then um, I think I tried to explain there about the uh, very Commons. Yeah. We have the force to pay down. I'm hoping we're going to bond. Now I'm getting nervous. You know, I hate putting it in, but uh -huh. that's just interest. I'm thinking we've got to bond by the 23rd, but we're going to have arbitration problems. And then we could be talking some other fines from the IRS and whatnot. So I'm really hoping we're going to bond. I hope so, too. That's why yeah. I'm going to because if that happens and we don't bond, uh -huh. we could easily be looking at 50 grand in fines and penalties that I don't have on my budget. All right. But that is really unlikely. All right. I, you tell me. Who's in charge of bonding? I would. I would. There's a website for that. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I did my best to talk, but it depends who you get. Really? Is that the legal department? Huh? What's holding it up? Oh, I don't know what's holding it up. What, I'm sorry. What's holding up there? The um, yeah. The project's the just not done. starting in the spring. It's just the, the time it takes it will, we have no control over that. Yes. So, you know, nobody knows the number, so they can't do a bond? We, we have know. to spend oh. down the, the cost of the project. The IRS requires you to spend down a percentage of it each year, oh. and if you don't, they can come in and find them mm -hmm. for not doing that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. <coughs> I don't know. I've never experienced whether they'll actually do it. I've heard that they do, but I don't know what situation. What we make them? Yeah, I don't know. Just something to be made. Yeah, my health insurance. I'm going to need that. 
The health insurance? Yeah. The three percent? Yeah. Oh, I just put that. The, um, I didn't put it on that budget, but I did put down here. It'd be twelve thousand nine forty-two. If uh, they're proposing a three percent increase in health insurance, uh -huh. if it goes through, that uh, will you know we're going to talk to them about whether we're going to accept the increase or reduce the insurance in some way. Personally, I think we should accept the increase and save that little gambit for when it goes way up. But that's just me. No, I just think of the figures. The figures, yeah, 402, 652, and 28,728. For FY16? That was the FY15 numbers, plus the 3%. Plus 3%, which would be another 12,942. Um, Plus, I, I do want to, you know, take stock. We have some people that have come off family plans, gone on to mm -hmm. singles. So as we get closer, I can get a, a stronger number once we know what we're going to do. Okay. Try to keep it. So. Those are my best guesses right now. So, is nothing. Yeah, nothing. It's yeah. chunk change. Yeah. What I'm saying yeah. is, when they come back with 15 or 60 percent increase, that's the time to start looking at reducing, um, or maybe increasing a copay or something like that. And I include all of those numbers. It would be three and ten percent. Right. Came in at three. Yeah. yeah. He knows. Good sign. He, Lou knows that I'm just as apt to get quote somewhere else. I've dealt with them before. And we have them in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know. He knows. He knows. <coughs> but I do like food Now is water going to pay a portion of this? You don't have a number in for water? You just have the sewer or is that? Oh, a portion for what? I'm sorry. On the uh, health. The health insurance. The health insurance. Yeah. On their individual sheets. They would have that. Yeah. 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 yeah, but shouldn't that show through on this one, like the sewer did? There's a number in there. The sewer. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. I'm not sure which one. Minus water's portion of the insurance. Yeah, but there's no dollar figure in there. I have 24, 7, 25. Oh, I don't have anything. Oh, okay. Um, okay. What was it? 20. 24, 7. 25? Yeah. 25 for So then the, what's the bottom total? Because we're only, these are only estimates. Yeah. We don't know for sure. Do you, do you guys have a bottom for sewer and water? Then for 25. Yeah, but that's in there. So the 434, is it right? Right. It must be. Twenty-five dollars. What's your more. total at the bottom of that? It's twenty-five. Four thirty-four. If you've got twenty-four seven twenty-five coming out of it too, I think you take you take it out somewhere else, don't you? Yeah, I don't think it's reflected in this no. section of it. It's not reflected in yeah. my budget. It's reflected in why, theirs. Why is we charge you that the same way as sewer. You want my stock answer? Because we never have. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> that's when they went yeah. enterprise. <coughs> yeah. It should be, shouldn't it? Yeah. It should be treated the same as it is. Uh, it is. It's not done here, though. Right. We do. They do pay it. Yeah, they pay the portion. Yeah. But uh, what I'm so saying we should show is it, it here, should though. be handled the same as the yeah. sewer. Yeah, you're absolutely well, you're right. Yeah. It, yeah. And it is. Well, no, the total that I no, I'm asking no. for total. Right. Do you have a total? Then? No, I'd have to calculate it. Okay, no. but it's yeah. minus. So it would be that four thirty-four minus the right. yeah. okay. It is, but it's reflected. Their payment is reflected somewhere. It's reflected in their budget. It's not right. put on this sheet. But we've always showed them on this sheet. So the same as the sewer should be treated the same way. So that's oh, no, you should so be the same sheet, yeah. That's yeah, we just turned it. We have a total on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay, I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. You know? 
Okay. I'm used to seeing it all. Oh yeah. On that. It took me a while. It's been a long day. Yeah. No, it's always in their budget. Health insurance twenty three seven ninety five for last year. Yeah. So they've been we account for it in this budget. It's just the fact that they're now changing how we handle them. So we yeah. can put it on here next year. Yeah. yeah. So and like those numbers might change when the uh, yeah. Yeah. Because I know people have been moving around quite a bit. Okay, we'll, we'll get a new sheet. Yeah, yeah. Well. As as you will. As, 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 as soon as I get to the cell. No change in ours, just the accounting practice. Yeah. I'm showing you in one yeah. 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 It's the same. It should be the same. Uh, exactly. yeah. It's in the, if you look at their, their past water budgets, it's always done in there. Mm -hmm. Where we do the we're here, so. Yeah. It needs to move over. Yeah. Well, once we get the numbers, I think this one is probably in. Any other questions for me, Nancy? No? Our computer uh, maintenance went down. Yeah, I saw that. It huh? came to my attention that, and I didn't realize this, when we went network throughout the town, I just assumed there'd be one account or if some there's a computer problem or something, the money would come out of there to maintain it. But I guess it should be in everyone's budget, which I didn't know. So I've already like got hit with a bill that, you know. So I'm thinking if it's going to be in everyone's budget, I've got to add something for that. Um, because that's an issue. I mean, it, it happens. You go in and you suddenly, mm -hmm. your computer's not working. Yeah, because this has been the thing you've been working on. Mm -hmm. for yeah. Um, so in years past, yep, everyone had it in the budget. Yeah. This was part of the issue. Everyone had to use their own IT vendor, trying yeah. to make it one company. That is important. Past couple of years, we've done um, projects where like computer parts bulk purchasing. We did the network project and the um, getting all the computers secure. That was a project. They, we weren't there to do support as well. That was, that was extra. Um, so there has not been a separate budget, but I'm proposing under the Hopkins budget to add an Should IT person. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that would resolve. Yeah. So either either it goes in line or it goes somewhere. Because yeah. we just can't afford to be down. Yeah. You know, who you're calling and where the right. money's coming from. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. Okay. That's computer stick. You just call this guy up. And it's yeah. yeah. Sometimes they get really sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that was my concern. Um, other than that, my budget's pretty flat. Yeah. 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 Even went down in some places. If we could. If we could save it, we could. The only thing that, like I said, I don't have any solid numbers is insurance. So as soon as we do we have a meeting in April, so we'll get you solid numbers. I guess that's it. And maybe we should kind of touch base as we get closer to, and hopefully the project starts up in uh -huh. tonight if I get a feel so that we are going to, we're going to try to launch without the project being completed. I don't know. Mm -hmm. If we can, if we get enough of it done, and we can assure them that we're not going to go over, I think it will fly. Yeah. So that's the goal, anyway. Good. So. Any, other, any other questions for Nancy? What we'll do before we get, uh, as we're getting close to the town meeting, is is have you two back anyway, just as we, you know, with the selectmen and and yes. everybody and the assessors, just to make sure our numbers all jive and we still all feel the okay. same about them. So. Okay. John Nicolato said that the common project we felt most of it would be done by November, December. If that happens and we know we're not going to go over, we're good. We can go on. I know. Right 
Okay. That's it. That's it. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for everything again. Come on up, Heather. Heather, grab a chair and come closer to us. Yeah, they've done a good job. Grab a chair and come closer. Come chat. We want you to sit at the table. Yeah. Come chat with us. Bye, now. Jean. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. She's moving a row. She's moving one row. Just one row. Oh, oh is that far enough? Are you afraid of it? Yeah, right. Still on the table. No, I'm good. Okay. We'll start with, uh, start with the uh, unclassified accounts. Those were all uh, local funding. Yeah. And there's the uh, time report expense, holiday decorations, and street lighting. Yeah, I'm in a different order than you. You have unclassified accounts? Holiday decorations. I don't have them. I don't have them. It was called unclassified at the top of the page. It's on the Yeah, no, but I don't know. Email. Email. Got an extra one? I can print one. Thank you. <laughs> Coming out of the woodwork, by gosh. How many humans should we be? I like all those increases. Did I print them the wrong ones too? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I got one. Yeah. 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 Minor. Shit, I don't have that one either. Clear, give me that one. Everything else is double funded. We've got a very good deal with our council and council members. Break it down. There are many towns that spend $50,000 to $100,000 on our council every year. Uh -huh. So we spend kind of minimal amount of money. We're extremely poor. Okay. And then the selectman's expense account. I can oh. count to six or seven. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a date, <laughs> but a date and a page on. number. Yeah, it has dates on them. Good. That's fine. Do. Yeah, this one does. <laughs> I get one. The top. The Go ahead. <laughs> building. <laughs> Someone mixed these up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They mixed these up on purpose. What's the fake? He said, said fade a photocopy in school. <laughs> so I just should have left for two hours before our meeting. <laughs> then we would have been all set. <laughs> yeah, only increase is um, the elevator maintenance. That's per our agreement. And um, we now have fiber for our internet. And that's through the mass broadband project. So that's, that's expense. Increases our bandwidth. 
Is that up and working now? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Moving on, Town Hall. Town Hall. That was level funded. That's good. Okay. 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 They didn't calculate it. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> That'll be the first back on the old people. Kevin Blanchett himself. So. Oh, okay. okay. And what did you say about this? It's just based on our people. Yeah. And, yeah. and our salaries. Right. or directors, or, you know, whatever systems analysts they call it. Um, the range is anywhere between 50,000 to 100,000. So, but um, I did let the selectmen know their meeting Monday that I have been speaking with Rutland as they are also interested in mm -hmm. having an IT person on staff. And it would be a shared position between us and Rutland. And um, we would be the, the lead agency for uh, agreeable and, um, in favor of that. Mm -hmm. And it would include, um, you know, we'd just be splitting up salary, benefits, and you know, costs. Mm -hmm. And it would be three ways probably, um, where it would be 30%, Rutland Town Offices would be 30 and the Dispatch Center would be 30 It seems like it would get everyone's needs. Really good because mm. yeah. you need somebody like the right person. But we'll let that person on to our no, payroll. That's right. never had a but they'll be added on our payroll. Our payroll, the but the cost would be spread. You can't yes. afford that. Can't afford that. And they, they get to uh, vote on who, who's hired? To, uh, um, they would be our, our employee. Yeah. Okay, so Rutland wouldn't have a voice? In so they, say they would subsidize us? I mean, they pay us. Those logistics them. haven't been. We really haven't discussed those. Oh. Them, and we have a draft okay. uh, MOU that we we're working on. But um, I'm sure yeah. right, if, if, if we come if to we the do. table and agree on someone that was uh, qualified, yeah. we're actually, we have run a lot of the same software. So that oh, was something that was very beneficial as well. That's good. You know, we may handle the project, but what will handle the dispatch situation? Yeah. We're right. the lead. They hired the director. Right. You know, so right. we may we may be in the same situation where we have a lead. Good. We hire the 
Sounds good. But when they did hire the director, our fire chief and yes, yeah, and police chief was certainly part of it. They didn't hire it without any input from us. Correct. Correct. That's good. That's good. Any unforeseen things, or other than? Administrative salary, some of the health insurance and budget stuff, I mean, um, general insurance stuff. Other than that, we're. Yeah, we're still in follow up finance. Um, if you know about any other departments that have loans. Yeah. How about the software that you're using now? Are you, are you happy with that? And is the state happy with it? And Which software? Any, any and all software that you use. Um, the accounting offices, I think they are pretty satisfied with their software, right. as far as user friendliness. Mm -hmm. um, much better than Unis, which is okay. way too big for our town. Right. Um, um, other stuff, you know, Roseland, we were talking about this, they've used that for years. So and it's, very comfortable with. And it works. I mean, it's, it's still supported by uh, <clears throat> whoever wrote it? Yep. Good. That's good. Surprising. Okay. Yeah, we now have um, Roseland Police Department Office, which is the building department's using it. Yep. Planning One department can flag that they are having an issue so that when this department comes in and tries to like, add a permit, they can see that there's already something ongoing. Mm. Good. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. Heather, uh, on this computer guy, that, that your job would be to help <laughs> pick equipment and look at equipment yeah. to see what stuff needs to get replaced. Yes. That whole business would be under yeah, that okay. shop. Yeah, yeah. If, if it goes down on the most the value occasionally, he's the fix it down. Yeah, no, but I mean, I, in, in addition to just fixing it, I was hoping that they would just oh, yeah. kind of get involved with the whole business thing. Purchasing. Yeah, mm -hmm. make sure we're yeah. buying the right stuff and it's something that's fixed, get rid of it. Right. Right. That'd be good. Yeah. Heather, tell me what you just did last year and how you had set up a program of implementing so many computers each year, and that's what you had been working on. Part of the capital plan, yeah, we yeah. included computers as part of that, so every computer is placed on a five-year term. Mm -hmm. But it would be nice to have, you know, someone with that knowledge. That's what I'm saying. Make sure that gets yeah. part of his job, and then you don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. I'll take care of it. Yeah. They'll be there for support. They'll be there for um, to manage our network, which um, we don't have the, the knowledge or experience mm -hmm. right. to do that work. Almost a little more technically advanced than we. Um, yeah. Will they report to you, Heather? I would guess so. Okay. That sounds really good. <laughs> 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 it's, not, it's not an elected position, is it? <laughs> 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 You know, it's yeah, funny because website, website to take care of that, you know, and, and to make sure that's functioning in that world. Mm. Different departments to put their information on so we're updated mm. versus, you know, because if you look at a lot of websites, they are woefully mm. out of date, you know, so it really it helps with that. Too. And our email, we know a lot of time. Tom Dork has been mm. um, very nice to donate his time to, right. you know, do the email and website for us. But um, you know, when he doesn't have time, it would be nice for this person to, to help out and assist with that. Mm -hmm. 
every town, and especially about like we have Heather helping us out. Rutland was the fire chief. Mm -hmm. He's tasked with the IT component, so you mm -hmm. know they need help too. Mm -hmm. So we both could use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh -oh. the, <laughs> the Civil War Monument is oh, on your radar. Yeah. So the, you all know the story of the Civil War Monument now, right? The um, Last year we got the money to fix it. We started working on it. The contracts were signed. Work's being done. And then the 9C cuts came and they took the money back. So we've already contracted. The work's already in the, the we're kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. It's too late to pull the plug on it. Yeah. yeah. So it was kind of ironic, a monument we have that was repossessed for non-payment yeah. now <laughs> finds itself right in the same situation again. <laughs> we'll give it back. Yeah. <laughs> we told Lester, those are the best stories, most timely stories he's ever told. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so we have had almost everybody in front of us now except for ambulance in the, in the school. We haven't heard from them yet, they haven't. I did, I kind of emailed her to try to get her in because right. we have our schedule. We have them scheduled from our original date for the 24th. So she was gonna let me know, do you wanna stick to the 24th right. or? We're still good with the 24th, right, everybody? For the school. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not gonna be here. Huh? <coughs> Go to Atlanta. We hold our meeting in Atlanta. Okay. With you. Um, I don't know, let's see. following week I'll be here. Mark likes the school coming in. Yes, I so do. right now we're scheduled for... I don't know what kind of numbers they'll have. Tuesday the 24th. Um, right. um, from last week. Right, but I don't think there's any numbers. Is that preliminary budget in the school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tried to... Seventh is the one after that. Seventh is the one after, right? Twenty fourth and the seventh. Twenty fourth and the seventh. Yeah. So what do you want to do? Yeah. Is it is a week later the better date only because they have to have it wrapped up and a number has to be given by March thirty first. Yeah, I think right. So by Sunday. having it mm. by having it that next whatever date you choose in the next week, then, because the number has to be there of what the high number is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Can I make a deal with you guys? Can we meet on the 1st instead of the 7th? Is everybody around on the 1st? Kind of appropriate day. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Because <laughs> Mark will be here. <laughs> Is that okay? Is everybody available yeah, on Wednesday the 1st? Yeah. Can you see they came on Wednesday the 1st? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can email them. Because she, she just replied to me this week because I sent her like a follow-up because I hadn't heard from her, so. 7 o'clock. The 1st is 7 o'clock. Tentative. I'll make Tentative. sure that they can make it. And I'll email them. <laughs> no, 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 no. And then, uh... What's that? And we'll keep the 7th on our calendar, just in case. So Finance doesn't have an email. Don't trust us already. Normally they come out from the F. Lukowski one. Unless you guys were included. Okay. So can we get ambulance in on the first two? Who? Ambulance? I'm sure. We don't want any of this scandal. No. They have a budget, but... So on the first, we'll get the ambulance in school, and those will be our last two committees. Okay. And then after that, it's just this drawn-out affair until town meeting of watching numbers tweak every week. So. Are we still doing the 24th or not? No. 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 24th. No. 24th. We want Mark here for all of them. So my only issue with the seventh is we'll keep it on. I'm coming back. I should be home by then. Um, but first is the, the first. So everyone's good on the first. The seventh we'll keep on just in case because that's from now and then we'll be just kind of needing to look at the numbers. Change. Good. 
And are we still thinking selectmen the end of June, like we always have been doing the last week? Kathy, we were just talking April about April or May. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about it. Uh huh. Uh, I've got to go on the, the weather.com site and find out which is typically the hottest. Area in the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> By all means. Be right that'll, that's, yeah. that'll be the day we do it. Make sure the fans that's aren't the working. Until we'll have it. Uh huh. If it works out like in years past. Yeah. You know. Some good thunderstorms. Good idea. It would be nice to have it like the middle of the month. Okay, for May. Yeah, that would be good too. I mean, that good. That's probably not going to happen. We'd be going back next week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We won't have a time. I know. I know. Yeah. It looks like the 15th of May. That's the middle of the month. It could be a Thursday. May or June. 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 May. Yeah. Is a Monday. Did, 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 did he say May? Okay. June 17th uh, between the screen and him, I think I'm losing 17th. my mind up there. Okay, I think we're saying May, May, May in my ears. Uh, <laughs> help, you know. Two weeks effect on you, Brian. Oh, Snow down there? Mm -hmm. It's going. Sleep. You guys are good down there with supplies, right? Salt and sand and stuff to get us through the rest of this. Or? Yeah. Except we might have an event this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sick of stuff. Oh, it's always that. In the middle of the week, it's always that. Then the weekend comes and it's cloudy. Oh. That's right. We talked about that a little bit mm -hmm. last year. Do you guys remember this they talk? Yeah. The summer term? And there's no way this, for the budget that the cemetery gets, right. they could do any of that. I think it should be a separate account for our lawyer. Mm -hmm. Pretty extensive work in some of those cemeteries, but I know last year me and Jason went around and you know did a lot of the work in the spring. Uh -huh. We had some issues about the game race from the water base. Yeah. To look at the shape of some of them, it's uh, pretty bad. Which should it should be an article on it? Well, I don't know. I think you should put it in the water because you spent so much a year. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get this all done in one year. Do, do like we do the the town, you know, like we have the town building, that one. Uh, the same thing on the cemetery. Yeah. We just yeah. add it to their, yeah. add it to their budget for, you know. Yeah, they can tackle different projects every year. Because I know what, like that Adam Cemetery that, you know, they call it a crypt that's way in the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with that. Oh, boy, so it's not going to be a bad trick. Very dangerous for people to do that. Yeah. And then fences on almost all of them are. I think you guys can come up with a, an estimate or a number that we can start plugging in every year and we'll just kind of throw it in and see where we end up this year. Like a five year plan kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, once once they're fixed, that number will go down. If we're ever actually exactly. maintaining them, but like, like a five-year fixed plan, and then we can build off the maintenance off of that. So how about we do? How about we do this, Rich? Let's say let's come up with a number to throw into the budget, and we'll all look at Heather to get it to us for the next meeting. <laughs> how many cemeteries are there in town, Richard? How many cemeteries are there? We have a lot of them. Twenty something. Yeah.
take you better care of them if you can fix them up a little bit. For the people living in there. <laughs> Could we first have like um, the um, program that's sent to the sheriff's office to at least mm -hmm. clean them all out? You know, and then that would help us to look at, you know, then experts coming in who, who have that knowledge of, you know, stonewall building and all of that. Well, there are a lot of down branches and no, dead trees and stuff. No, it's the major stats on the spring that should be sufficient to catch it. Okay. You know, if we need some help, we can reach out to the sheriff. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank We've done the library, the yeah. Barry Congregational mm -hmm. Church. Where else have we been? Building. Helping Hands Organic Farm. Um, <laughs> we've been in a lot of places. Yeah. Yeah. Lieutenant Hines is going to move to Barry, his <laughs> office. He's here somewhere. He's looking up projects. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not complaining. Um, you know, the reality, too, I mean, this is where we're in a bind. We have all this stuff we haven't addressed over the years. We've let the cemeteries go, our fire trucks are old, the breathing apparatus is old, uh, you know. Well, we get a big chunk of free cash back, but we should ask the townspeople to start funding some of these programs. Yeah, just got to tell them. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we, Heather and I were talking the other day, we really <clears throat> Now that the landfill was done, the money, you know, we were putting money every year in like a landfill. We really need a capital stable, a capital account where we say, okay, in three years we're purchasing, you know, a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar ladder pumper, which exactly. we're by that time hopefully we have a place to keep it, because if we bought one right now, we can't fit it in the garage down there. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's going to be three quarters of a million dollars now. So. Mm -hmm. What's that? A certified. They our ladder, ladder. <laughs> our ladder <laughs> trunk. <laughs> so I mean, we really need to get serious about it. I think. That breathing apparatus. Yeah. Important too for all that stuff. Right now, it's not. When do they uh, release the grants? For the people? Not sure that. I think it's late summer. Well, mm -hmm. last year anyway. I mean, before we got that fifty thousand for the yeah. compressor model. I have to check with Joe and see when they, when they come out with who's getting the grants and who's not, you know. Mm -hmm. Then you can plan the quarter I mean, million. The, the so breathing apparatus so for a fire guy. Well, you have a fall. You've got to have there. some things you just can't cut out of right. You know, you no. need that. No, you've got to have that. And another one of those guys are going to be in some of those ugly places. They're going to have to be purchasing the all in the office for the fire department. Some of that low band, high band, as you feel about it. Go ahead. So they would not purchase that. Do all departments use yeah. pagers still, or are they moving to the cell phone door? Because I don't know who, remember who. I think they're on the Agawam Fire Department. They have on their phones now this I'm responding or something I like that. And Barry does too. We do too. But the trouble is, some of those calls come in 20 minutes after the pages. Is that how it works? Is it is so there? 20 minutes on a fire call. So the pages are still the standard. That's the way the. Yeah. You know, I asked Joe that same question. I said, you know, I thought they went through the phones. And I thought it was only smartphones, but it's not the smartphones. But see, the trouble is that somehow there's a delay. It can get 20 minutes. Really? So. Hmm. so we only got to work on 142,000. And if we had another. Hundred in breathing apparatus and pages. Oh, and Twenty well, for the pages. Yeah, but then you add in the breathing and the yeah. fire trucks and oh, no. everything else. And so the snowstorm this weekend add to that ninety. Yeah. Well, last Well, 
Yeah. 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 Let's see, the school can come in mm -hmm. in the ambulance, and then mm -hmm. we're done with all the boards. Mm -hmm. and we'll plan a meeting the 7th, at 7 o'clock. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there. We'll kind of plan the meetings accordingly. We'll do our typical um, every two weeks, probably from that point to town meeting, just to kind of see if anything changes or if anything. This is getting boring. Every year, everyone comes in with very little increases in their budgets. You know. I think we have them pretty trained. They do, they do a good job, yeah. So, it took you a few years. It took you. But years ago, I mean, just for Rick to explain to him what we we do now is, and when did we change it? Had like five years ago? Six years ago? Change the budget process. So, following the following years. So, what used to happen, Rick, was the, we, the, ta the board's just submit budgets. And they come in asking for, you know, a fifty thousand dollar budget would be two hundred and fifty, you know. And you'd, you'd have clearly remembers the days you'd have this sheet here would be a million dollars off, yeah. and it would be up to the finance committee to be the bad guys and say, you know, no, we're going to cut this, this, and this. And years ago we changed it. We came up with this sheet, and what we do now is at the beginning of the year say this is what we think the bottom line is going to be, and we ask the boards to kind of live within. Yeah. Th these budgets and the boards actually have been very good about it. They've been worked with us so um, to help maintain. You know, it's not fair for us to pay a manager to have to make you know the decision where to cut their budget. No. So, um, so we we did change the process and it's working out well now. So um, on it. All right. So everybody got this sheet and we don't have to change it because we didn't change anything so we're not going to re-mail it out right um if something changes between now and the next meeting heather and i will update right. it. everything that came in on the email print your own <laughs> <laughs> whatever i got on the email is up to date as of yesterday yeah it was up to date